Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this flashlight. This is the Mini Pineapple by Raylight, and uh, I'm going to go through and do what I normally do, which is show you some size comparisons and then tell you what I like and what I don't like about the, the flashlight. So here's the flashlight compared to a AA battery. As you can see, the flashlight is a little bit smaller, or a little bit taller than a AA battery. It's almost not quite two AA batteries. Here's the flashlight uh, next to the Benchmade Mini Grip. And here is the flashlight on top of uh, an American $1 bill. So this light is an unusual light in that it, it's a relatively small run. It's all titanium. I think there's another version that might be copper, but this is a titanium version. Um, it runs an XP... Uh, no, I think this one runs... Uh, an Achia 219B emitter, and it had my, uh, a built-in tritium insert. It can run on AA or uh, AAA batteries, but this comes with a flat top, or I'm sorry, a button top um, uh, 10440, and it outputs with the button top 10440, it outputs 240 lumens on high, and I think one lumen on low. The other thing that I, uh, the other thing about this light is, as you can see, it has a washer style clip, so you can unscrew this back part and the clip comes off. Um, it is, in many ways, the Surefire Titan with a lot of improvements. It's lighter than the Titan because that's made of brass and this is made of titanium. It has a clicky, which I like better as an interface compared to a uh, twisty. It has this tritium insert, and the clip is just way better. It's a deep carry over the top pocket clip that's a washer style clip, so you can take it off and take it on uh, without, uh, take it off and put it on without any tools. Overall, I really, really like this flashlight. It wasn't expensive. I think I wanna say it was like 69, 70 bucks, which is expensive for a flashlight, but not expensive for an enthusiast grade flashlight with all of these features. Unfortunately, I don't think it's being made anymore, and I think I may have gotten the last one. So if I didn't get the last one, then it's probably worth tracking down. If I did get the last one, I'm really sorry. So Raylight makes a bunch of lights, and they kind of make lights all the time. So maybe this one will come back into production. And if it does, it is totally worth chasing down. You know, one of the things that's interesting is even though it's not, even though it has a, a clicky tail cap that's unprotected, you can still make this thing tail stand relatively easily. It, it obviously won't roll anywhere. The milling, the machining on this, the pineapple machining is really good. It gives you a good grip, but it's not too shreddy. Uh, the beam quality is absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get it to, and it's just a perfect balance between spill and hot spot, or uh, bet, yeah, between spill and hot spot. Obviously it's not much of a thrower, but no light in this, kind, uh, this size or form factor is. And, you know, I know that the titanium, as you can see, has been worn and it's got some scratches. I love the way that looks. I think it'll just look better and better over time. Eventually, it's going to get that real nice pocket uh, pocket polish, which I think is just super, super cool. Um, I, I'm i hard-pressed to think of a night or a flashlight that does better in this medium-sized roll than this light. You know, it's not the brightest flashlight in the world. You can certainly find... Uh, Lights that'll run on 10440s, it'll be brighter. But this is a really well-balanced package. It's got a good high, a good low, a good beam, good clip, good form factor. And the tritium insert, you know, I think that that's probably not a necessity, but it's a really nice feature to have on a flashlight. You know, if you're going to sleep and you put this on your nightstand, you know, you'll be able to see it when you wake up. Your night-adjusted vision will hone right in on the... Um, the tritium insert. And so I think this is an excellent everyday carry flashlight. I wish it was a little brighter, but in, in reality, I've never had it be an issue. You know, we do night hikes uh, in the woods behind my parents' house probably once a week, and I've taken this on three or four of them, and it works fine. So, you know, in a, in a situation where you actually need it, it will be absolutely perfect. Uh, this is a video overview of the Raylight Mini Pineapple. Uh, look for a written review coming soon.